Hey guys, Catherine here with Paleo Schmiele Food Company. I wanted to tell you about how President Eisenhower's heart attack in 1955 led to a lot of sugar being in your food today. It completely changed the way that we eat, and not for the better. At the time uh, President Eisenhower had his heart attack, 1955 September, he was the one of many people experiencing cardiovascular disease. And there was a rise in cardiovascular disease, and his heart attack kind of shook the country into a revolt. And they decided to really put a lot of research dollars into how cardiovascular disease could be prevented and resolved. And that led into Ansel Keys, a government researcher who really just spent a lot of time studying fish and oceanography and economics in college. Okay, I'm not judging. He's a college graduate, but he didn't start studying physiology until after he got his PhD from University of California, Berkeley. Uh, he let's let me tell you a backtrack on Ansel Keys. Okay, Ansel Keys started at University of California, Berkeley in 1922 as a chemistry major, and he quit his chemistry. And then took a job for a year and then went back into his bachelor's program and ended up getting a BA in economics and poli sci. Okay. After that, he got his master's of science in zoology. And then he did a fellowships at Scripps Institution of o Oceanography in 1930. He got his PhD in oceanography. Okay. And biology. So this is where his biology experience starts coming in. He got a second PhD in physiology. Okay, so this is where his experience comes from, usually pretty much in his graduate program. Uh, when, when I researched him, I found that he was studying animals and fish and mostly being able to calculate the weight of the fish based on the length and, and things of that sort. So I was getting, if you know me, I am all about science and research. So as an ex-research scientist myself, I did some digging into his research to see how valid it was. But what I found was that a lot of his research wasn't human-based until he was asked to do so. Okay, so then uh, Ansel Keys, he uh, did a very uh, popular study called uh, the, Seven, the Seven World Study. I'm sorry, I don't want to get that wrong. But this, the Seven World Study... Is it the seven world study? I wrote it down because I didn't want to get it wrong for you guys. Cause I wanted you to know, um, ah, the seven country study. See, I'm glad that I corrected myself. Uh, cause I want you to be able to search this yourself and do your own research. And this is, uh, for me, I've been researching the topic of sugar and its effect on our health for more than five years. It started for me in about 2013, uh, but it really started researching it in, you know, I would say 2015, you know. So, uh, you know, at least five years of just full force wanting to know all about this. And I knew a lot about Ansel Keys, but I didn't really understand that his background, his bachelor's degree really had nothing to do with human biology. He's not a doctor. He's not a medical doctor. Um, there, he has no nutrition degree. Uh, his degree uh, in chemistry, if anything, would have been the most legit uh, experience for me to follow uh, for this kind of advice and research that he was writing. But he quit chemistry and he got a BA in economics and poli sci. Uh, after, okay. So let's just say he's perfectly qualified, which he probably is. The guy's got two PhDs, uh, one in physiology and one in oceanography. So, uh, he, he decides to make uh, K rations for the military, which is a Cracker Jack box filled with calories for soldiers to eat that doesn't get wet and mold and less, right? And he was put on the task to figure out what kind of calories we needed and what would be a day's worth, uh, you know, of calories that could be compact and uh, easy to preserve. Uh, and he came up with that. Um, and it's very interesting how they came up with the Cracker Jack box. They 
they uh, did contribute, not financially, but they did contribute um, ideas towards this. And that's why it's in a Cracker Jack box. And uh, if you research that, the uh, K rations and World War II, uh, you'll be very interested in that. Um, however, what happened after that is uh, he did the seven country study. The seven country study was basically resulted in the Mediterranean diet as you know it today. And if you Google the Mediterranean diet, you're going to find Ansel Keys as a keyword within that because he's the creator of the Mediterranean diet. Uh, essentially, his work proposed that fat uh, cholesterol uh, was causing artery, artery clogs you know, which led to cardiovascular disease. Okay. So that is where all of this research comes from. And the reason why I bring all of this up is that in 1955, when Eisenhower had a heart attack and the country was already coming up to this knowledge of understanding that, you know, we were, uh, we were at a new epidemic of heart disease. And that was an epidemic that America was facing. Uh, the heart attack was the catalyst uh, to research, to put funding into understanding what caused these heart attacks, what caused blockage in the arteries that, that caused heart attacks, okay? And doing this study, his limited study, okay, seven country study, that sounds amazing, and uh, but if he's the only one that did it, I guarantee other people would do the same research and they would find completely different results and they have. Okay. So this is, this is a long time ago. This is in the fifties and sixties. Okay. They came out Ansel Keys's research of the seven country study resulted in America being totally scared and frightened of fat and all fat, especially saturated fats. And we removed fats from everything and replaced it with what, what we thought was a low calorie, natural sugar that tasted good. That's, that's where the sugar comes from, guys. This is where sugar comes from. Sugar comes from us trying to replace fat. Now that we found out that fat is actually helping us, you can actually use good fat, ingest it, and it helps you burn bad fat. So, you know, if you, you go into a fat protein low carb diet, we know now about ketosis. We know now that that helps us burn extra body fat. It lowers our insulin levels. So we've learned all of this since, since this time. Uh, and I want to point out one book that you should probably be interested in. Uh, Pure White and Deadly was written in 1972. Uh, John Yudkin, I don't know if I'm sp uh, pronouncing that right, but it's Y-U-D-K-I-N. He was a an author, 1972, okay, Pure White and Deadly. It's the story of how sugar is killing us and causing diabetes and obesity. And this is 1972. This completely contradicted what Ansel was releasing. And because of this, it was widely publicized and he was successful in convincing most of the public that this Pure White and Deadly book was more controversial and less factual. Okay, so this whole social epidemic towards sugar has created a sugar craze. And now there is sugar in everything we eat and we are all sick. Now, at the time of this study, there is one in 11 people had diabetes. Today, one in four people have diabetes. And what has changed is that there is sugar and not fat in your food. So I want you to do your own research and let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks.